What's up? What is up, guys? So today, well, you can see in the front. But I took the one. Uh, I don't know if I showed you in the last video, but one of mine was only on the one with the blue, purple, and red. And then one of them was gone, so I bought some new ones. Finished cleaning up the car, just polished that. I need to clean the windows now. Well, you can see everything's clean. She is smelling delicious now. Delicious. And then you can see how clean it is. I'm like, yeah, it was beautiful. If y'all want these, I'll leave them down in the description below. These were like 120, 130. I forgot how much they were. But right now, let me see. Let me give you a startup real quick. Also fixed my ballast I'm gonna show you that right quick uh, I know the last time I posted a video the car was a it was a fail piece the ballast weren't fixed but I need those are the headlight but those are the ballast and now it's just that damn uh oh my hands got it dirty but now it's just the uh, now it's just the idle problem that it has and so you know I'm trying to get that fixed and then I'm gonna buy some new lenses I need to order some new lenses so I can show you a video on that such a beautiful day today BMW bike 1300cc I think it was my dad's big old harley and then he got more in the, in the basement but now all i need to buy is little stuff like the headliner i brought the glue so i can spray it in but that airbag light is it's for the um it literally just tells the computer that somebody's on there and they need to put their seatbelt on and that went faulty so i bought a bypass and it's about to come a few days two or three days so that bypass is going to do is going to remove that these lights this one this one and that one and then the brake light is on because i just need to reset that light and that light will go away and then i'll just have one light just a service engine light which is the main one but it's just a valvetronic motor and then i bought a new key fob because as you can see my bmw logo right there is extremely yellowed out ugly i don't know who bit my key someone likes to chew on keys i guess and then it's just you know it's just nasty it's just like really i don't know and i only got one of them so and then my key i lost it once i don't know how i lost it i was looking all night for it and i couldn't find it uh my headliner as you can see it's hanging and this is a big problem with these cars this and the sunroof the sunroof likes to peel off but mine thankfully mine is like perfect everything else is stupid stupid clean finally fixed the headlight ballast af after shoot since i got the car I, uh, the ballast were bad i shall find the link where i bought it from i'll put it down in the description below so y'all can go buy one as well they're real cheap they're not the oem uh, expensive ones so what's up guys so i just got another package in the mail it's an airbag 360 C belt emulator. I'm gonna show you what this does. Um, you literally plug it in if you have an airbag light, and I got like both of them two airbag lights, and it also comes with this, which removes the chime because supposedly what this does is gonna make it seem like somebody is sitting in the chair, and obviously then then what the car is gonna do is chime the C belt warning, um, even though nobody's sitting there. So this is a uh, way to remove it but um, you got to tap into some wires cut some wires this and that and i don't really need this because i cut it out my seatbelt chime either way so i don't get a seatbelt chime at all um but i think there's a light that might be coming up the second light because there's two lights on there's an airbag light and there's a seatbelt light so i think this is gonna prevent me from getting or hopefully this just prevents me from getting both lights but if i have to go back in and re-tag this to remove the second light then i'll do that but i doubt it so let's go ahead and go do let's check something out right quick i am let me try to remove one more right quick. Hold on, hold on. Uh oh, uh oh. We removed how many codes? Two. If y'all remember, guys, from the last uh, video, I showed you that those two. Let me turn off the car because two air, uh, one airbag light and one seatbelt light. And all I had to do is come down here, right there, and it is connected to that cord right there, as you can see. And it is connected. Let me see if I can zoom into the old one. It is all the way in the back. I don't think I can see it's too dark. Anyway guys, it's just coming to the back. I can't get it a good view because the chair's not out. I couldn't get you a nice clip of how to do it. What I did, you don't have to remove the chair. I removed the chair so I could show y'all how to do it, but my video cropped it. All you gotta do is go on the bottom. I'm gonna show you a picture of where it's at, but I gotta go to the bottom and y'all will see it hang. Uh, it's clicked on to the chair. I unclipped it, then I disconnected it, and then you plug it in and it's simple as that. And um, I thought I was going to have to pin that wire, and thankfully I didn't. And it only took me about 10 minutes, so... But now I got to worry about two more, which the f the brake light, it's an easy fix. It's telling me that my brakes are low, but that I'll just get fixed or reset because my brakes are brand new almost. The check engine light is only for a uh, Valvetronic motor, so... And after that, I all I got to do is freaking fix the interior of this and this. 
And she's mad, dude. It's not necessary to take off the chair. I just did it just so I could show y'all and get good footage of how to remove it. But I mean, this is like one of the easiest, top three easiest. This is like three, four days after I made that dang video. All of the footage just went away. All right, guys, what up? Uh, so I'm recording on a different camera just because I'm, I use my GoPro to edit. I'm editing a video right now for my mom's YouTube channel. If y'all want to go ahead and go check her out, her YouTube channel is, uh, she, she does a lot about plants and stuff. Not really a thing we do, so. Anyways, so what I got here today, as you can see, y'all can see how badly, 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 badly it is chewed up. I don't know who chewed it up. I mean, as you can see, my key is gone. Um, just the quality, I mean, it is bad. It's all in BMW, as you can see the BMW thing right there. You can see it's chewed up up here, you know. So I thought, you know, I was either gonna buy a Gates Innovative key, which is like three, 400 bucks. The way you get that key is you gotta send out your, your, your key, you gotta send it out so they can remove the hardware inside and put it inside the key. And so, I, I mean, I only got one key, so I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be out for like a, a week or so. So I was like, no, let me just fix this key real quick. Go buy a new one from BMW maybe. If not, if, if I like the way it looks right now, I won't even buy it, to be honest. It's just something, you know, something, something cool. But I really wanted to fix this key. It was really beat. As you can see, someone bit into the metal, the little metal button here. The color is really, really yellow. Not really sure. I bought this off of Amazon. Guys, it is super cheap. I'll leave it down in the description below. But as you can see, you can see that beautiful BMW logo. And actually, to be honest, it looks way more detailed than this one. Let me see. Than the OEM BMW key. As you can see, you see that? It looks so much more shiny. And this one just looks super, super shiny, as you can see right there, you see? And so, and it looks like hollow, like 3D and stuff. So, when I first got this key in the mail, it felt super heavy and super, like, high quality. And I'm like, for 10 bucks? Are you serious? Um, and it also came with the blank key, which I'm going to go see how I can cut it out to my key on my car. Ooh, um, because, obviously, I lost my key to that one. When you get it in the mail, it's going to be kind of cracked on one side. Mine was cracked on one side. And the other one was shut. Just probably very lightly and it'll just come off and guys remember there's two types of keys there's one with a door in the back um, for the battery right here and there's one flat that doesn't have a ba uh, battery in the back make sure you look at your key before y'all go buy it and make sure yours doesn't have the, the door or it does and buy the right one the prices aren't different or anything and it actually the old one the new one i mean feels way way nicer harder plastic heavier i mean it feels so much thicker and everything I don't know. It's such a great deal. So I'm gonna go test it out. But as y'all can see, a little indentation right here where you can put the knife through, and it could uh, you just pry it open to the sides. Let's see if I can get it the first try though. You see, so there's the battery. So I just popped off the door. You just go through here and pop off the door. As you can see, the little indentation where you can uh, you just pop the knife in right here from the bottom and pop the the door out. But this is the battery. Um, it's Shoot, man, this thing has never, I don't think this thing has ever been changed out. Let me not mix up the old door versus the new door. Let me try not to mess with the motherboard or anything. <gasps> what the fuck? Look what I just broke. I just broke the top. What the pop, dude? This thing is tough. There, I got it. I cracked it open. God! <laughs> God, dude, I don't want the motherboard or anything, but damn. God. All right, guys, so finally got it out. Old and new. Obviously, I could tell what the old one is, uh, the one on the right side, the new one. It looks like a lot of stuff is missing, but it's just a bunch of dirty crap. And as you can tell, you can see how clean the new one is compared to the older one. So let's throw that one away. And the way this thing was sitting, guys, if y'all check out the motherboard, there's two indentations, one right there and two up here. There's three actually, my fault. And so what y'all gotta go do is, there's three buttons right here. There's three buttons, as you can see. So you're gonna have to put those buttons into here and match up the slots. Y'all can see the two little slots up here. So let's go ahead and do that. Be very careful, you don't wanna mess up this because then you got no way to get inside your car. So there, it'll see just like that. Then, what you want to do is find the new one. This one, what the hell? Okay, yeah, this one feels way lighter than the old one. Right than the new one. Wow, this this old, this new one feels super heavy for some reason. I'll put the battery in afterwards. So, oh, there's a plus sign right there, as you can see. So, you, so it goes up. Uh, plus sign, uh, the plus sign's on the back. So, now let's go ahead and close everything. Does everything snap into place? Hopefully, you know, you don't. 
you don't uh, mess anything up. Everything back into place. Nothing's out the way. Nothing. Beautiful. Nice. The battery plus is up. So let's put that in there like this. The door right here. S sneak that in. Let's see how this door goes. Um, I guess it just slides in, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so I just clicked the door into place. I just kind of pushed it in there. I think the 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 rubber, this rubber piece, right here, you're supposed it's supposed to go inside the battery, so that's what holds it into place. As you can see, very flush. Everything's nice. Now let's put the key in, which I need to go get it cut, um, and boom, we finally got a brand new key. This feels so much better. Hopefully, I don't have to go to BMW and go. Oh my God, look at all the dust on my hand. This one has a click clips and it clicks into place but this one is really i think it's glue yeah it's like an adhesive guys so what you got to do is just cut around it but guys this is on amazon for about 11 bucks real real cheap and it just feels so good so i'm gonna go test out the comfort access and all the buttons and see if they still work sorry guys about the damn thing but let's see if it works it's working let's see if the comfort access works it works. My key works, guys. I, can't, I know you can't see nothing, but it works.